Radio is brought to you by Let Synthesize Academy, the number one place for practice-oriented courses for serious music producers. Yo, the last and here welcome to the new Synthesize Sunday episode. And today I want to show you a very, very cool Max for Life plugin that can save you hours of frustration if you want to build up a very smart, very clever audio effect track. And without further ado, let's jump into it. But first, let me tell you that you can download this track from my Patreon below and click here for my academy if you want to learn more about mo music production and overall. So right now, let's jump into it. Okay, so let's say you want to set up a multi-effect track. So obviously drop a, uh, an audio effect track and another one inside of that. And you know, what we want to do is just using one big knob for different effects. So for example, um, I want to use this for the dial where I dial in the, the effects basically. And in the second rack, I want to add the actual effects. So for example, let's start with uh, an auto filter and maybe just, you know, for demonstration purposes, let's use the reverb after that. Obviously we want to use the drive vet and the filter cutoff. And no, it's very cool because we have the control for the different effects. But here comes the tricky part. We can set up a chain here and we can map the slider to the main macro, the big knob. But the problem is that it will only change the level of the effect. But there is a good solution. If you own Suite, you can go to Packs and download the Max for Live Essentials. And there is a very nice little thing that will help solving this problem. The multi-map device. But first let me unmap all this stuff here. So first you want to map, let's say, the frequency, the cutoff frequency, to the first row of the multi-map. That is so cool because when you move the input, you can see that it starts moving. We can map the input knob, for example, to the 16th macro knob. We can hide it by, you know, just putting it right in the back. And we can map that one to the main knob, like this one. That is cool, but we haven't made anything different here. Because, you know, if you start using this knob, it's just a simple filter. What I want to do instead, setting up a knob where I want to decide how much I want to play with the filter. So for example, if I keep it zero, it doesn't matter how I move this knob, we won't have any filter effect. But if I crank this up a little higher, we will have a full effect when I play with the knob. And how to do that? Now it is very, very simple. All you need to do is just map this one to macro one. So basically we are setting the range with this one. So right now it is on zero, and as you can see, it doesn't matter how I move the knob, it won't move. But if I crank this up, we can move it. Now the problem is that, you know, if I pull back to zero, the filter is basically filters everything. So it is not the most ideal way. So we need to crank the minimum value up to the maximum, so 100. And now it's cool because it is on zero and, uh, and our sound is unfiltered, but if I move the knob, it is still moving, so it is, again, not very idle. What we need to do is change this range to the opposite. So I guess this one is max 2, and just invert the range. So right now it is on 0, it doesn't matter how I change the main input knob, or the main transition knob, or the main effect knob, it won't move. But if I start tweaking or adding the, let's call this LP range knob, you can see that we start playing only between the range that we just set up. And if I crank this up to the maximum, we can play around inside the maximum range. So this is a, such a cool thing to play around with. And you know, you can always go around with uh, reverb. So I click on map, set it to the dry wet knob and map to macro. So let's call this reverb yeah so when i crank up the reverb it will start playing between 0 and 100 on the driver knob i can move the input knob or the main let's call this transition knob and maybe some more decay should be better So this is such, such a great thing. And what I did with this is I set this rack up so we have a lot of options. I added a low pass filter that you just saw, a high pass filter, a reverb, 
and the delay. And to make the transition even smoother, I added an OTT. And if I start playing with the transition, it's such a cool thing. And I also added a frequency shifter that is so cool because it starts, uh, you know, rising in the frequency of this sound. And an LFO volume, you know, to add some uh, vibration to the sound. Such a cool thing. You can use it even on drums. Transitions. And without this Max for Live device, a multi map device, it would be not possible to make this track. It is very inspiring. You can do a lot of things with that. Okay, so you can download this thing from my Patreon below and click here for my academy for awesome start to finish courses. I was a Larson. See you guys next time. Peace.